Hi guys, it's Rike here and welcome to another video. If you're new here, my name is Rike and I review a lot of activeware so if you're into that kind of stuff, you just keep watching. Today I have a new Halara haul review for you. Halara contacted me again and asked if I wanted to, you know, review some new pieces for you. And I said yes, because sometimes they have some cute things, you know, and then there's all these Instagram ads and I'm always like, oh, should I try this? Should I try that? So I figured, you know, it would be great to to give it a try so they did send me some pieces but don't worry i'll always give you my very honest opinions and yeah i'm excited for this we have a lot of like like not activewear it's more like you know pants and uh i think it's mainly pants to be fair <laughs> i think we, we have uh two non-panned items but you know, I'm kind of excited. There's like all these like kind of more dressy pants, like the ones with like the wider leg and that kind of stuff. And I feel like I want to venture out and try those a little bit more. So this is what we're dealing with today. And um, they also did give me a code for you guys. I'm just gonna put it here on the screen because it currently just slipped my mind, you know, but it's uh, it's here. So you can <laughs> you can use that code to get a discount when you shop with Halara. But like I said, don't feel forced, you know, I will all give you my honest opinions, but of course never ever feel forced to buy anything if you don't need anything or if you don't want anything. And um, yes, we have a few different fabrics going on here as well. There were some pieces they wanted me to review and then I also picked some pieces for myself um, that I wanted to try. And let's just get started. I usually do start with the tops and um, I picked a top just so this was my own pick, uh, just so I would have something from Halara to wear for everything that I'm going to show you now. And let's, yeah, let's just start with that one. This is a little white number because I figured white works with the everything. So we have this little piece and this is the long sleeve backless cutout tie back cropped bar ballet dance sports top. And I did get this one in a size small. Let's see, sorry, I just needed to check, but yes. Got this one in a size small. The color is white. You can see it's a little see-through. You might be able to see a little bit uh, of that here and you do sh need to wear a sports bra underneath so this one does not have built-in cup pads um i don't know if i looked at it too long because i thought it did have it but like you know my my mistake here but it's cute like i like a little long sleeve sometimes this one has like super lightweight fabric which is also with the white you might be able to kind of you know see a little through this so of course if you wear a darker color sports bra you'll be able to kind of see it maybe you can have like a little color accent by wearing a color underneath you know we have like this nice high round neck and then in the back it has this you know backless kind of overlapping design and we have a little tie at the bottom so i thought it looked really really cute and then of course since it's like so open here you could show off a little strappy sports bra although most of the straps are going to be up top here but you know still um a little bit of something there and yeah the fabric is just sleek very very stretchy very very lightweight let me see if I can figure out what the fabric is made of. Um, it is 82% nylon and 18% elastane. And, you know, like I said, it's cute. I like it. I'll try to see which sports I'm going to wear underneath. But I think it's, it's a cute little top. We do not have thumb holes, by the way. Did I mention this? I don't know. I'm not the biggest uh, sucker for thumb holes, so I'm okay with having no thumb holes. But, you know, in case you love thumb holes, I'm sorry. There's no thumb holes here. Um, but yeah, let's see this on and then we can move on to all the fun bottoms. Okay, first piece here, the little long sleeve. So sometimes with long sleeves, I size up to a medium to allow for the arms, but here I didn't need to do that, like nice and comfy, stretchy, very, very lightweight. And now I'm just, you know, pairing it with a lighter color sports bra underneath. And what I didn't realize was that this is kind of like curving a little bit, like here in the front, like a little bit down, but I think it's cute, you know. I didn't realize that was what was happening, but yeah, it's nice. We have a wider round neck, so definitely not like super high. Long sleeves, no thumb holes, like I said before. And yeah, just like this little kerf. It works. And then the back is super cute. So maybe I could try a different sports bra, but I think it's really, really nice. With the little string here, I also like this overlap in the top and then, you know, this kind of side panel situation. So very nice, very lightweight. And um, yeah, this, you're gonna be seeing this quite a lot throughout this video. It's super stretchy. And uh, let's move on. Oh, 
All right, onto the bottoms. So I did get like a few different sizes in the bottoms. Usually with the non-activewear bottoms with Halara, I do need a medium, um, but with some of the loose pants, I'm like, they're still a little tight around my butt from my experience. So, you know, but they're nice fitly fitting at the waist, but a lot of them also have belt loops. So then I might've actually gone with a large, but like I will go through the things. And also for a lot of pieces, you can get different lengths. And I've realized with my five foot seven or 170 centimeters, I actually do need a tall. So just keep that in mind. I feel like especially with the um, loose fitting pants, it's good to have them the right length because it can look a little weird if they're too short. But first of all, I want to go into a Halara Magic jeans piece. And I just saw that when in the email they sent me, there is also a little denim care guide. I'm not sure if they had this in the start, but in case you have any of the Halara Magic uh, denim stuff or you're thinking about purchasing them, they say to always use a neutral pH detergent and to avoid bleach, which I think is kind of normal for a lot of like more activewear things. Then also avoid direct sunlight or high heat drying. So no heaters, which are no heaters, no dryers, tumble dryers, but I think that's also quite normal. And they suggest washing it inside out with cold water, using a laundry bag and air drying in a cool, well-ventilated area. And then do not combine metallic decoratives and accessories as they could scratch and damage the fabric. So it is a little bit more delicate. I haven't had any issues with my pieces so far, but you know, just to keep in mind. And I got this piece this time, this Hilara Magic denim jeans piece. So this is a darker wash and these are the Hilara Magic mid-rise button pockets, stretchy knit casual boot cut jeans. So a lot of the items, um, that I could pick from were like a little bit more wide leg. I'm usually like a skinny jeans person still. I know I'm stuck in like, I don't know, what was it, 2010 or something. <laughs> um, but uh, that's just me, you know, that's just how that is. But I thought I could try these. This could be fun. So these are stretchy in this way, but also in this way. So it's kind of like a jean legging if you've tried those before. And um, then a lot of brands that do like active or fitness jeans, like fit jeans for example they have like very similar fabric I would say it's also just very very stretchy a little bit of a thinner denim than you know what you would expect from a normal jeans but like it kind of makes sense because you have more stretch to it and for me I love stretch like I usually um, go for jeans that are like peachy or curvy or whatever for the smaller waist and the bigger butt and those are actually usually also more stretchy because if you make the waist more fitted and you don't put stretch in it, there's no way any of those people that need those more curvy jeans get these over their butts. So, you know, stretch is our friend. <laughs> but yeah, so we got these here. I think they came in a few different washes, but this is the, the dark one here, the black. We have 48% cotton, 42% polyester, and 10% elastane. And I feel like in a normal jeans, like without the stretch or with like very minimal stretch, you usually have like, what, 98% cotton or something and 2% spandex or elastane. So there's definitely less cotton here, a lot of polyester, and then also a lot of elastane. This is why we get the stretch here. So I did get these in a size medium. We'll see how that works with the with the waist for me, because they don't come in, like they don't look as tapered at the waist as some of my other jeans do. But you know, I wanted to be able to squeeze the butt in there at the thighs. Um, but yeah, I feel like if, cause I have tried fit jeans before and those are really expensive and I don't think there's too much of a difference in terms of the fabric. So yeah. And then you can see like, they are definitely a bit of a wider leg. I wouldn't say it's like super dramatic, but definitely like, you know, a boot cut, um, flare. I don't even know. Is the difference between boot cut and flares and all that? I know the bell bottoms are different. Those are like really dramatic, but like otherwise I don't really know. And yeah, these are supposed to be like mid rise. Now I'm a fan of more high rise things. But apparently mid-rise is coming back, so as long as it's not low-rise, you know, it's okay. And we do have a proper button here, and we also do have a proper zipper. And we also do have proper pockets. Because sometimes with these, like, more, like, stretchy jeans, kind of jeans, leggings-esque things, there's, like, no front pockets or something, and I'm like... And maybe not even back pockets, and the front pockets are there, but they're, they're just fake, and then I'm like why are you doing this to me? But no, we have proper pockets here in the front, so that is good. And then we also do have proper pockets here in the back. And I'm saying proper, I mean, you know, men's pants do have much bigger pockets, but like for women's pants, I guess, proper pockets. And we also do even have this little tiny pocket here. Um, yeah, and then 
again, still very stretchy. You also have the belt loops here. So, you know, if something doesn't fit properly at your waist or then you could just wear a belt. I usually try to avoid wearing belts, but you know, sometimes you can't. And then in the back, we do have a little like seam here at the top. There's a little bit V-shaped, but just the tiniest bit. And then you have the pockets there. It is like not fully black and it has like a slight gray to it. Like, so it's kind of like a dark, very, very dark gray. And you can kind of see that you have like this jeansy thing going on. Um, but it's not overly washed or anything, which I like. I don't really like the super extreme, like, stone-washed stuff. Um, but yeah, they feel nice and lightweight, like, not super heavy, very, very stretchy. And let's see them on. All right, here we have the jeans. They're definitely a little loose. So I would say if you're in between sizes, you could actually size down with these, which I would have never dared to do with normal jeans, you know, but like here, we can do that. And they're definitely more of a mid-rise, so you can uh, see my belly button. My normal waist would be here, right? So they don't come up that high. I feel like you can, I can still pull them a little bit higher, but like, you know, they're kind of meant to sit a little bit lower. And of course there's a, you know, ton of extra space. Like, I for sure need to wear a belt with these because otherwise I'm going to lose them. <laughs> so if you're in between sizes, I highly suggest you size down. I know it sounds weird, but these are very stretchy jeans. So definitely do that. And I mean, of course, we have the belt loops. So, uh, you know, five of them. So you can kind of wear those, um, wear a belt with them. But like for sure, you know, I can they are sliding down a little bit and uh, yeah but we have pockets here in the front we also have pockets here in the back and they're just super super stretchy like honestly when i put them on the first time i was like no pants dance necessary like how is this even possible and then lengthwise they are maybe this this little short on me so you can see we have the little flare here like you know this here and it's just like a tad short so now with being barefoot, like it's this much above the ground. And then of course, when you wear shoes, you know, that's going to be even, um, even more, but like, I like the flare. It's not too much, you know, it's a little bit. Yeah. I just wish they were a tad longer, but, uh, yeah. So, you know, I'm 170 centimeters, so that's five, seven. That's how tall I am. So I guess, you know, I would need a little bit more of a tall version of this. I personally don't mind, for example, if my um, skinny jeans are like more of a 7 8 length on me. But I feel like with the flares, right, it's supposed to be kind of a little bit more long. Um, but otherwise, I do like them a lot. They're comfy, very, very stretchy. But yeah, do size down if you're in between. And if you're taller, um, just be aware they might be a little short or if they do have a long version. Like they usually add those, you know, with products that have become popular then you could uh, just, you know, use the long, the long version of this. But otherwise, I have no complaints about these. These are very comfy. Like, I mean, I wouldn't wear them for a, work for a workout, but you absolutely could. They're stretchy enough for that and lightweight. And they do feel like have this like jean material feel, but they're just a little bit more lightweight than normal jeans. But let's move on. All right, are you ready for the next pair of pants? I hope you are, because <laughs> here we go. This is a really interesting color, and these are the high-waisted button, multiple pocket straight leg casual pants, and this color is called Deep Tea Brown. Interesting, right? Like, I feel like it's kind of like a purplish brown, so, uh, you know, a little bit more of a like definitely like a brown, but like a little bit more purplish. I'm usually not the biggest fan of browns, but like this type of brown I can I can do. Uh, I did get these in a size medium and in the regular length. So I think these are gonna be a little short on me. Don't ask me why I went with a regular length. Maybe that was that was available but was available in that color or something. I don't know. Um these are made from 79% polyester and 21% elastane. And the fabric actually feels really, really nice. Like it's kind of brushed. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's like it's brushed and soft so like feels really nice we have a lot of stretch here so it's kind of like a like a heavier legging fabric i would say like it definitely has a little bit more weight to it and a little bit more thickness than a normal legging and yeah these are like super like you know just straight leg or is that even straight leg is it white leg but like it's a straight wide leg i guess and we have this button design but like it's not to button up like there's 
nothing on the inside. So you have this thicker elastic band. So this whole waistband here is an elastic to keep things up. And then we do have this front button um, design. I'm actually really happy they're not proper buttons because whenever there's a lot of buttons, like I feel like the risk of like having a slight like tension between things, like peeking inside is very possible. So I've always found that a little weird. Um, and then we do have these interesting front pockets. So proper pockets, again, they're not fake, they're real. And then in the back, we also do have two more pockets again as well. But yes, so these are kind of like, you know, white leg and a little bit more dressy pants, but still like super comfortable. And um, I like the color. I like the fabric. Let's see these on. All right, these are really nice and comfy. High-waisted here as well. We do have the elastic, but it's not overly tight or anything, but it's also not gaping with me going for my, uh, you know, larger size. And we have this button detailing here, super, super cute. And then the pockets here in the front, like, I'm not sure if I would put anything in these pockets to be fair, because I feel like it would become a little bit bulky, but it's nice to have something you can just stand around like this, you know, instead of like not knowing what to do with your hands, I guess. <laughs> so that's nice. But I like the little detailing here. Um, you know, it has accentuates, accentuates your waist a little bit. And yeah, you don't have to worry about these buttons like doing weird things because they're not, you know, real buttons. Based. I mean, the buttons are real, but like, it's not like, you know, like something is gonna happen with them. You can't use them in their normal button function. So there's that. Otherwise, like it's really, really comfy. We do have, you know, also comes up nice and high. We have the big pockets here on your butt cheeks as well. So you can use those too for stuff. And even if I put heavy things in there, it might like sag a little here, but like the elastic keeps things nicely up, I would say. So that's nice. And these are very, very flowy, right? So we have like quite white bottoms, but you can already see again, very, very short on me. So these are kind of like an ankle length. And for like how flowy these are, you know, I would want them to be definitely a little longer. Interestingly enough, also we do have like a um, wide hem here, if you can see that, but like, you know, just an interesting detailing. But yeah, these are super, super comfy. And if they were longer, I would definitely, you know, consider wearing these out and about. Like, I think they're really nice and they're a good alternative if you don't, you know, want to show up in leggings everywhere, but like want to have something that's as comfy, but like looks a little bit more serious, if you know what I mean. And I think the color is cute and it's just like a cute little, detailing and like these also definitely fit like nicely around my butt and my thighs like I have no issues with how they fit here it's perfect they're very stretchy there's even like a little bit more looseness here in the crotch area but I mean these are also a bit more looser pants so don't have an issue with that and they're just very really very comfy All right, the next ones are somewhat similar, but also still have like different detailing. These I got in this nice midnight blue and they are the high-waisted, plicated side pocket straight leg work pants. So we have a plicated uh, detail here in the front and the material is actually otherwise the same. So this is also 79% polyester and 21% elastin. So the exact same that we just saw in the tea brown whatever else the color name was, uh, pants. And they also feel like the same, like it's nice and soft and they're very, very stretchy. It's a little bit heavier than your legging material and we still have like the straight leg, straight wide leg here. So that is very, very similar, but you do not have all the buttons here in the front. So we actually do not have any buttons here in the front. You do have belt loops on this one. I don't think we have belt loops on the other one. No, I'm looking over there, no, no belt loops, but here we have belt loops, but only in the front. So you do have two belt loops here. And then in the back, I feel like they could have done at least one here, because if you want to wear a belt with this, like if there's no belt loop in the back and nothing is going to keep the belt there. So that's a little odd. But, you know, maybe it's just a detail then. Um, and we do have the thicker elastic here in the front again. No, like I said, no buttons, but like a kind of like fake, fake uh, flap here in the front. And you do not have, oh yeah, you do have pockets in the front, sorry. <laughs> like normal side pockets here, so none. Like they're actually pretty... Whoa, they're pretty deep. Look, my hand is just completely gone. Wow, okay. Pretty big side pockets in the front. And then the bag does not have proper pockets. So here we have like these more like dress pants. 
fake pocket situation. So yeah, this is a very dark blue, so a midnight blue. I also did get these ones in a size medium. And in regular length, I am assuming the tall length would have been better for me. But let's see these on. Okay, so these are definitely very, very similar also in terms of how they feel compared to the ones I just showed you. Um, very, very stretchy. I feel like, you know, the elastic fits the same way and it's, um, you know, the pockets are nice and deep here. And these ones, of course, I think you can use a little bit more than the ones on the front that were like here. But like, I mean, you can use all of them, I guess. And just keep in mind, these ones don't have proper back pockets here. So those are fake pockets. And uh, yeah, so we have this plicated detailing here in the front that I'm not sure works so well if you have bigger thighs. Like it looks a little weird from the side maybe, but you know, it doesn't look like it's too much of an extra thing here. So I think it's okay. Um, and lengthwise, these are the same length as the other ones were on me. So a bit too short, but like, you know, very nice and flowy we have a wider seam at the hem as well and they're just like you know wide legged here so definitely could be like businessy pants but like still super super comfy and stretchy and all these things you know like i like them they're very comfy i just wish they were a tad longer on me that's all i have to complain about and you know i wish they had like because we have the belt loops here in the front, the two, I also wish they had them in the back, because sometimes it could be nice to wear like a belt as like just, not because you need it, but like just as a little detailing with your outfit, right? So um, like if you don't even have a single belt loop in the back, it doesn't really work that well, especially because these are not on the sides, right? These are on in the front. So yeah, I'm missing a little belt loop in the back, but otherwise I think these are super, super comfy. So this material here that we have here and that we had on the previous pants, it's like really nice. So if you're looking for like a super comfy like dress pant, you could go for either the one I just showed you or this one, depending on what you want style wise, because they otherwise fit the same. And it's just like the detailing differs quite a lot. And yeah, keep in mind if you're taller, well taller, I don't think 5'7 is that tall, but like you might want to go with a tall version of it. And uh, if you're like kind of not super tall, but like, or like usually, you know, you get regular length, but like, no, I don't even know what I'm trying to say here. <laughs> Maybe if you're, if you're kind of like a little between like, oh, being a short person and a regular length person, I think you could probably stick with regular because I think it's just, for me, it's quite short. Um, yeah, but they're super comfy. All right, moving away from the more legging fabric or the thicker legging fabric to a little bit more of a summery fabric. I have tried these pants before actually. So these are the uh, high-waisted plicated side pocket white leg flowy solid palazzo. Let me see, the, the title keeps going, casual cotton pants. And this color is called Rosette. So I have tried these before and I actually really did like the fabric. However, I felt like for this being like a really flowy summer pant, this is what I wanted from them. And a size medium, they were a little tighter around my butt and my thighs than I wanted. They fit nicely at the waist, but I figured, you know, they have belt loops like all the way around. So not like the other pants that we just saw, but we have belt loops in the front and then also in the back. You know, I could, here, there we go. I could just, you know, wear a belt with these. Um, so I did get these in a size large now, but are still regular length. So I feel like, again, I should have gotten tall length. But I also did like the color, you know, it looks, I think it's like a really nice color for summer. You could just wear some sandals and like throw on a white top or something, your sunglasses and you're good to go, right? And these are style-wise, otherwise very similar to the dark blue pants that I just showed you because we do have this placated stuff here in the front. Again, I'm not sure if that's like a um, very flattering detail for people with like ooh, bigger thighs wider hips, um, so, but like, you know, they're flowy pants and if they're comfy, that's all I want. We have t t uh, side pockets here again on the front and also like we saw on the other one, you have this like fake flap, but now we do not have like a full elastic here in the band. So in the front, this is like, you know, not stretchy or anything, that's just the band, but in the back you do have this um, stretchy stuff going on here. And these pants are made from 100% cotton, so there is no stretch in them. But that makes them actually great, like, you know, just summer pants because 100% cotton can be really, really good uh, when it's warm. And of course, they wrinkle a little bit more, so you might have to be a little bit more careful or steam them or 
can you iron them? You can iron them on one dot, so low temperature. Um, so you could do that. And I also feel like the leg is definitely a wider, wider fit. So these are definitely a little bit more flowy. But then again, they're also called palazzo pants, right? And those are definitely a little bit more flowy. But yes, anyway, I figured I could try the large and see if that's like, you know, more flowy. Um, and this is more what I want. But we will, of course, also see how, what that means for the fit at the waist. Um, but yeah, let's see these on. All right, here we have the large cotton pants. So if you want to see how the medium fit on me, because I got them in the exact same color, but I don't have them right now because they're in some moving box, I can link that video up here and then you can go check that one out. Um, but yes, so this is the large now. It's definitely a little big around the waist here. So there's a little bit of gaping, but it's not like a ton. And like, of course, you know, like there's like no compression or anything whatsoever here around the waistband, but it's like not the end of the world. So I think it's fine. But I feel like now I find them a little bit too flowy maybe <laughs> in the legs. I don't know, I haven't decided yet, <laughs> but they're definitely like quite comfy and quite like flowy and there's like no restriction whatsoever. So, you know, we have the pockets here in the front and then currently you can see if I actually would put something in the pockets. This would just wander down. <laughs> So I guess if you want more of like a low waist, you can kind of wear it like that. And then I will say the length works for me, <laughs> but they are high waisted. And then they're again, a little bit short on me. So these are also more of an ankle length, but you can see how wide like they are, right? And they're like so comfy because yes, they don't really have any stretch or not a lot because it's, oh no, no not any, right? Because it's hundred percent cotton, but they feel, they feel so lightweight. And you know, if it's summer and it's hot and you need something, you know, to cover you, you don't want any thigh chafing or something, then these pants could be like a great solution for that because, you know, 100% cotton always works with heat. Um, yeah, and I like the color. I think together with white, this is like a cute summer stroll thing. You just put on some Birkenstocks, you know, and uh, get going. <laughs> so this is how I picture that. And like, I feel like as long as I don't try to put anything in this pocket, I could get away with wearing these without a belt. Like, yes, there's a little bit of gaping, but like, you know, like they won't slide down if I just do this, you know, if I just walk, unless I put something in my pockets. So I feel like it's not so bad, you know, like it's just very, very wide. So I'm not sure how I feel about that yet because they're very, very wide now, but like it's, I think it's better than when it's a little tighter around the butt because these are supposed to be so loose. But yeah, do not size up if you, if you don't have like the widest hips or the biggest butt, like if you just have a normal sized situation going on here, I think you can go with your absolute normal size. But like, you know, I was just wondering if for like the bigger hipped, bigger butted people, it would be better. So yeah, the cur more curvy, I guess, if you have a smaller waist, you know, but yeah, I think it's not bad. I just wish the length was a little bit longer, but I think these actually do come in different lengths. So maybe, maybe I just pick the regular length because I figured why not, <laughs> but I would definitely pick the long length next time. So yeah. All right, so when I last saw those Palazzo pants that I just showed you, um, I mean, I like them, but then I also saw they had this, the same style of pant, but like in a waffle fabric. And then I was like, oh my God. I need to try those. And I finally, you know, got my hands on those. So this is basically the same thing, but different fabric, very different fabric. And I got these in this dark blue. So very similar to the midnight blue we saw on the other pants, but these are the high-waisted, pillocated, side pocket, wide leg, waffle, casual pants. And these I did get in a long length. <laughs> so now we can see if long is my length. Uh, but I also did get these ones in a size large just because of the what I told you with the other Palazzo pants. But these look a little bigger. So here with these ones, I feel like maybe I could have gotten away with the medium. Um, again, they still have like, you know, belt loops here in the back. We have actually three belt loops. And in the front, we do have two. So then I figure, you know, it's okay. You can, you can wear, I can wear this, but like the, the leg looks very wide. So I'm like, eh, maybe I should have stuck with the medium, but otherwise the same detailing that we had on the others, we have the belt loops. You do have the fake front flap. Now we actually also do not have an elastic here in the front, but we do have this kind of like ruched elastic thing in the back to make it a little bit stretchy. Material is 97% polyester and 3% elastane. So 
So we do have a little bit of stretch to it, like just a tiny bit, you see, like the tiniest bit. And these are of course less wrinkly because it's a different fabric and the fabric is kind of heavy. So, you know, this is kind of a little bit more solid maybe. And let's see if I can show you the waffle structure. I hope you can see it somewhat. But I like, I like a waffle texture. I think it like, you know, it's kind of like cozy. And I figured these could be like great pants to wear, you know, to work when you're, I don't know, when you just want to be a little relaxed, but you still want to look like you're taking things seriously, you know. Um, but yeah, I'm worried they're going to be a little too flowy. I'm not sure. But let's see these on. All right, and here we have the same pants that I just showed you, but in this waffle texture, and this waffle texture is super nice. And yeah, these are a little bit heavier. And I also did get these in a the large, and you, they are a little bit bigger around the waist, but again, there's, you know, belt loops, and you can see, you can see how uh, much more you can get in there. Um, and I just like how, you know, I mean, they fit well, but I feel like there's definitely also more space here in the hips. So I don't think I needed to do that uh, sizing up. So I would say um, just if you're in between, go with the bigger size, yes, but like don't size up one more because that's what I did, right? With uh, trying the large here. So I feel like these ones, I could have gotten away with a medium easily because there's a ton of space. So the legs definitely feel a little bit wider than they did on the cotton version of these, the 100% cotton version. But now we have the long length and they're a good length for me. Like they definitely now without me wearing shoes, they kind of like grace the bottom a little bit, which is what they're supposed to do when you're barefoot, right? And then you put on shoes and boom, they're the right length. So I'm happy with that. They're very, very wide legged here. And I do like the waffle texture as well. Up top, like I said, a little bit bigger here for sure. So, and there's a ton of space. So yeah, next time I will try these in a medium. And then there won't be too much gaping here anymore. So, but I think otherwise they feel super comfy. They're not like too thick, but they definitely have like a little bit more heavy material than the 100% cotton. And I do like the waffle texture. We have the nice pockets here in the front, but no pockets in the bag. And they just feel like a nice flowy pant. So yeah, we have the plic pl plique, plicated <laughs> details. Yeah, I'm not sure if you can see them because it's a darker color here. And I'm never too sure if it's like, you know, if it does good for, for me or not, but like it's there and uh, I don't mind it. Like it's, you know, not overly annoying or anything. Um, but yeah, definitely would go for the medium next time. That is maybe the biggest conclusion, but tall length is where it's at if you're kind of my height. Um, yeah, let's move on. Continuing with more things waffle. And I don't know, maybe you've seen this piece in one of their Instagram ads, because I've definitely seen it in one of their Instagram ads. So here it is. We have an overall, ta-da! So this is the adjustable strap button, multiple pockets, plicated waffle casual overall. And this color is called Mountain Spring. So these ones I got in a size medium and they're like super like loose fitting. I'll be honest, I already lounged in them, even with the text <laughs> on my couch after it, you know, after I unpacked the package and saw, like was trying to see what, what I got. Um, so I already was like not taking them off for a while. <laughs> At some point the tag, you know, kind of got stuck to my skin. So yeah, I should have definitely taken it off. But anyway, we have, <laughs> we have this overall. Is it flattering? I can already tell you, not for my body type, but is it comfortable? It, it definitely is. Do I care about if something's flattering, if it's comfortable and I just wear it for lounging at home? No, but I feel like there's definitely body types who could also make this work as a style for the outside world. For me personally, it's more of a, lounging at home thing you know or <laughs> I guess you could do some gardening I don't know <laughs> I kind of felt like like it's now that I see off this color like on camera right this reminds me so much of um a German kids uh tv show with this, this guy who lives in a trailer like it's a nice trailer and like he has a nice garden and everything like it's not a trailer park no 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 he has just like he's decided not to build a house and he has this trailer and he usually just goes around and explains the world and discovers things and whatever. So it's like it was a show to give you more knowledge and, you know, broaden your horizon and that kind of stuff. 
but like his he always wore overalls and I feel like they were kind of this color so yeah um it's the uh, it's fun the show in German is called Löwenzahn which is lion's tooth but that's like the flower that's dandelions which I always thought was pronounced dandelions until I learned better um at least I think it's dandelions, right? <laughs> not not dandelions. <laughs> anyway, fun fact. Let's move on. Let's continue talking about this piece. So this also has this waffle structure that the pants had that we just saw. You know, I'm trying to like to keep like a like a red thread going through this video. You know, like there's a logic behind it. Which order I showed you these pieces in just today. You know, like usually there's no logic, but like this time I'm trying. But yeah, it has this waffle structure. We do have these, um, you know, these straps and we do have an adjustability feature because you can make it shorter. So since I've already tried this on, I can absolutely tell you this is already quite short for me. I would have appreciated another <laughs> button, <laughs> but I also have a long torso. So there's that. If you have a normal torso or short torso, you're going to be fine. We do have the little cute uh, seam detailing here. I actually like this like little like kind of V here. I think it's a little flattering. And then we have nice deep pockets. So you could keep your phone in there, your tissues, your tools. And we do have one butt pocket here in the back. A, a butt pocket, one butt pocket here. And um, there's also like a little placated stuff going on here. And in the front, we also, of course, do, do have a little, like a lot of plissé. That's what it's called in German, I think. Um, but yeah, so a lot of that here. So it's very, very flowy. And that is kind of like the problem for me, especially because there's no way to accentuate your waist from the side. So, but you'll see that when I show it to you. And we, of course, also do have a very wide leg and this waffle fabric. I'm assuming it's the same as the other one. Yeah, 97% polyester, 3% elastane. So not a ton of stretch, but it is very lightweight and just, like, I mean, the whole thing is so flowy. You don't really need the stretch. I wish these came in different lengths because for me, again, a little short. But it's fun and for lounging at home, I mean, it doesn't matter too much. Um, but just keeping, just letting you know. And I think they're cute, but like for me as a, like, you know, stylish thing, I don't think that works, but it's for lounging for sure. Um, but like I said, there's definitely body types. I think that could make it work, but uh, let's see it up. Okay, here we go with the little overall. Like I said, I don't think it's the most flattering piece on me, but it is very comfy. Like. Yeah, so, uh, you know, it's very flowy. You have a kind of feels like hammer pants, but like with, you know, things attached at the top. Um, I do love this little, tr like, detailing here, this little V, I told you that already. But like, then it's just like super loose. And I mean, the pockets are amazing. I think they're great. You can just, you know, lounge at home like this and be like, yo, you know. And we do have the little buttons. But yeah, if I made this even shorter, so I guess this is the shorter version. Like, yes, it comes up higher here in the front. So I feel like it's kind of low in the front, but like at least this way, it's a little bit longer at the bottom as well. And these kind of also are more of a seven, eight length situation on me, but they're like super wide leg. <laughs> it's like a really wide leg. The crotch is somewhere down there, you know, like so that you definitely have a lot of space. There's like no, because that's usually my problem with overalls. Like the seam there just makes its way into areas where I don't want to seam. But like here, it's far away. There's a lot of space. And I feel like from the front, it's not so bad, you know, kind of still like, I still have a little bit of shape in the front, but then when I turn to the side, okay, are you, are you ready? <laughs> like, I feel like this is just, I don't know. <laughs> like, you know, cause I have a waist, but uh, you can't really see it anymore. So it's like, like, I don't know. There's like so much space. Cause it, like, it's not cinched in at all in the waist, right? Like it's not doing this. It's just loose and then uh, I feel like I'm just a rectangle now. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like, and then of course the bag is also not like the most flattering thing. And I feel like, you know, if you just have like, if you have a big butt and bigger hips and all that kind of stuff, like this is not the cutest, but it is comfortable. And like, I'm actually surprised at how well this medium fits because I was a little concerned, you know, like, do I get this over my butt because there's no buttons on the side and no zipper? So I was I was a little concerned if I could get the smaller part over my hips, but like there's no issue whatsoever because we have the stretch and it is very loose, right? So no problems there. And yeah, it's just very wide legged and uh, not the most flattering for me at least. I've seen people on the internet style this and like make it look really cute, but uh, 
I don't think I'm one of those people. <laughs> and that is okay. Okay, and then of course I had to pick a pair of leggings. You know, how could I not pick a pair of leggings from Halara? And these are actually a new fabric, so I hadn't seen that before. And they're shiny, so of course, you know, I always pick shiny things. I like shiny things. So these are the Softly Zero Faux Leather Crossover Back Pocket Foil Print Stretchy Casual Faux Leather Leggings. This color is called Shiny Midnight Blue. And I got these in a size medium. I think I should have gone for a small. Uh, 7 8 length, but I didn't know how stretchy and lightweight this would be. So actually when I unpacked these, I was very surprised at how light they are and how lightweight. I don't want to call them flimsy because they're not flimsy. I think, you know, it's absolutely fine and they don't seem to be too bad in terms of like, you know, see-throughness and that kind of stuff. But they're definitely like super lightweight. Um, won't give you a ton of compression, that is for sure. But of course the fabric is called Softly Zero, so, you know, definitely feels like kind of nothing. <laughs> um, but I do love a cross waist. I do like a shiny legging, so I had to try these. And you can kind of see where the midnight blue comes from. It kind of looks like more black, but then, you know, you have some blues and purples and this like shimmery, shiny um, dots. So you can see like it's, it's like little tiny dots here. And these leggings are made out of 80% nylon and 20% elastane. 7 8 length, you know, it's gonna be a little short on me. But I want to try these. We don't have um, a top seam, but we do have a front seam on these. So just keep that in mind in case you're not a believer in front seams. And then in the back, we do have slightly curved glued seams. And we also do have a pocket here in the back, like a quite wide pocket. And then you can kind of see that because of the pocket, you have the seam detailing here in the back waistband. But otherwise, like no side seams, um, very, very lightweight, like I already mentioned. And yeah, usually with this type of fabric, like once I unpacked these, I was like, yeah, I should have gotten a small. But uh, yeah, just keep that in mind. If you're in between, I would definitely recommend to size down these. But let's see these on. Okay, and last but not least, we have the little leggings. Definitely, like I said, if you're in between sizes, I would suggest to go with a smaller size. Like I don't get any compression here, but you know, it's fine. They are nice otherwise nicely high-waisted yes you can see my belly button here at the bottom of the cross waist but that's fine they come up nice and here high here on the sides and also in the back that's usually what i care about the most that they come up really high in the back we have the pocket here in the waistband but you know i'm not going to use it i already know that i usually never use those and we do have a front seam and i will say that i feel like halara has a lot of no front seam leggings so i'm kind of surprised to see a front seam here and when I pulled them up the, you know, a little bit higher the first time, I was like, yeah, okay, maybe I shouldn't be doing that. So just be aware that yes, you can pull these up a little bit higher, but like there is a limit because of the front seam. So I, I felt it a little bit, but now that I'm wearing them like this, I don't feel the front seam. So I don't have too many issues with it, but like, you know, you need to be a little bit aware of how high you can pull these up. So just keep that in mind. And then we have, you know, ever so slightly curved seams here in the bag. And then also, you know, the seams sit nice and high still. No side seam detailing. And lengthwise, they are a little bit shorter than a 7 8 length on me, which makes sense if you think about that these were advertised as 7 8 length. And the regular length pants that we just saw throughout this video were always a little short on me. So then 7 8 would also be a little shorter than the advertised 7 8, I guess. You know, um, I hope that makes sense. <laughs> but otherwise, we have like the sparkle, shiny, shimmy, sh shimminess to it. I like, I like a shiny legging. And they're really, really comfy and very, very lightweight for sure, but like no compression. So if you're looking for a more compressive leggings, these won't do that, but they are very, very lightweight. And I always love a cross waist, so yeah.
All right, it's conclusion time. This was a whole bunch of pens. I hope you enjoyed this haul. I hope you found it quite useful. Um, maybe you discovered a few things you want to try. Maybe there's a few things where you're like, eh, it doesn't work for me. I don't know, give me your thoughts on this overall. Like, I know it doesn't work for me, but like, would you wear it for like lounging and stuff? Or do you think you could style it? So, you know, I'm just curious. I usually don't, I don't know when the last time was actually worn overall, to be fair, you know, but I know they're coming back in style. It's just, uh, you know, this one, like I said, is good for lounging for me, but like, otherwise I don't see it as a, as a piece I would wear anywhere else. But um, that's also my body type. I think it doesn't work for. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on that. I'm really, really curious. And of course, if you have any thoughts on any of the other pieces, do let me know. Um, I didn't get as many different colors, but like they have so many colors of some of those pieces. And sometimes like those colors are like a pre-order thing, but they only ship like two weeks after you buy. But like it's never like too long of a, of a thing. I just didn't want to pick those, even though there are some really pretty ones. Because for me, it was better to get the package as soon as possible so I can create the content for you. But just letting you know that as well. And of course, um, like I mentioned in the beginning, you can use this code um, to get a discount for your purchase. And um, otherwise, you know, you don't have to use it. Don't feel forced. But if you do, thank you so much. And also, if you don't, thank you so much for watching and supporting me this way. Um, yeah, if you have any feedback, any questions, any suggestions, anything ever do, let me know in the comments down below. You can also follow me on Instagram and DM me there. And um, yeah, but just be aware, I'm way more likely to see your comments here on YouTube. So if there's anything you want from me, like anything you need to know, any questions you have, drop a comment down below. Especially like if it comes to like sizing, maybe, maybe I can help with that. Or, you know, if you have any more questions about the fabrics, that kind of stuff. Um, yeah. Otherwise, thanks to Halara also for sending these pieces over to me. It's always fun to try something that I usually wouldn't necessarily go for, like all these white leg things. Not necessarily something I'm like, yes, I'm going to go and buy all these things. Like, I'm, I have to slowly warm up to this, you know, trend. And I'm trying. <laughs> uh, but of course, it's nice because lo lots of these pants are actually like super comfy. And then you still wear it, look like you're kind of more dressed. But, you know, it's still more comfy than a pair of jeans, right? Or even the magic jeans things. They're also way more comfortable than normal jeans. So, you know, I just have to venture out of my comfort zone a little bit embrace the wide leg and yeah thank you so much for watching if you have any questions like i said any suggestions anything drop a comment down below and otherwise i already said thank you so much for watching i was just gonna say it again it was just 10 seconds ago um anyway thank you again you know for watching <laughs> for making it this far and um yeah i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you next time bye